Right now, Nadia is one of the biggest Twitch streamers to be streaming Warzone at this current moment. And if you just search up her name right now on YouTube, you will see so many videos that have one thing in common, cheating. Something that has to do with some cheating accusation that basically people are trying to expose her for cheating. But the question still is, is she actually cheating? Now, there are a couple of video clips out there and these are one of the main clips that people are using saying that oh, these are the clips that shows that she is actually cheating, that shows that she's being exposed because none of this is actually possible for her to do. It's kind of interesting and funny to look at but let's, let's look at some. Those are some of the clips that she has been accused of been cheating because why would her aim just lock on something right there? It just locks onto something random. We don't know if she's actually cheating. There has been no hard evidence that accuses her of cheating. Just a few things, a few random clips here and there. But there, as I said, there have been a couple of clips that people look at and go, these are like hard proof that she's cheating. Recently though, she's done an interview where she was asked about the cheating accusations, where she obviously denied it. Based off of what I'm seeing, it is just like soft evidence to say that she's actually proven she's cheating. Dr. Disrespect weighed in saying that, imagine not inviting me, but inviting a hacker to your event. This is seemingly targeted toward Nadia being invited to the recent LAN tournament hosted by Call of Duty and Dr. Disrespect wasn't invited. This is what he had to say really. I don't know who all went to the uh, Call of Duty next event. I didn't, again, I didn't really watch any of it. I caught a little bit of highlights of the gameplay because I wanted to see a little bit of the war zone and I was not impressed. But I'd be curious. Like, just, I mean, just imagine. I, I don't know who or I, I went to the event again and but imagine, I don't know, not inviting the two time, but you invite a hacker to your event to, like that. That would be something, huh? Yeah. So it doesn't, it doesn't say, he doesn't say that he's talking about anyone specifically, but it's seemingly targeting towards Nadia because she is one of the persons that was invited and two, she is, I think, the only, one of the only persons or the biggest person there that is being accused of cheating, right? And at this point, how many persons have been accused of cheating in Warzone? That's actually pretty good at it. I can't really count at this moment. You have Swag, you have Tim, you have Nick Merckx, you have TP, you have Cloaksy. There have been so many persons accused of cheating on Warzone and still have been accused of cheating on Warzone. Some people accuse her of basically just playing on different servers where people aren't that good. And so she's like stat padding using a VPN to just change her location and all of that. But the thing is people are hard accusing her of using like aim locking or aim button or some type of feats aim tracking that allows her to hit her opponents where they don't see any opponents some people are just blaming it on the controller aim assist just being too strong uh, okay so this is the interview right here where she was talking about her cheating accusations with full squad gaming their youtube channel but in this they talk about most popular clips that have been circulating that's what i'm going to look at right now against you uh, so, so can we, we play, play that on, on production for all, all of you guys in chat? And then probably a bit too fast paced. Can we also get that good old slow-mo version as well? This one always confused me because it, it seemed like a, a kind of a, a Call of Duty moment. As the player you were shooting at, mm -hmm. literally just glitches over. Yeah. And is this something you've, you've seen or like heard about before? Yeah. This is like a frame glitch, and I've seen it multiple times on different like streams. I mean, there's a guy who made a TikTok about it, saying that he doesn't cheat, and this happens to him. So yeah. So what what is the frame glitch? Like, can you explain like what exactly went down here? No. Like, I, it's just like a frame glitch. I have no idea like how this happens. So I don't play Warzone, right? Never played it. I don't really know what a frame glitch is, but it sounds like it's just basically a frame glitch is a frame glitch. You know, you see someone or their character model somewhere and then they just glitch to another spot because they just, it didn't, there wasn't a smooth transition over to that spot of them like walking or running, right? It just teleports them over there. I don't think that this explains this clip that much, really, because if that is truly a frame glitch, then how did, how did your 
controller just snapped literally onto that person if that was a flame gauge right it doesn't really explain what is happening in that clip really so i i, I don't know All right that that is probably one of the sketchiest things i've seen also there is this one here uh, we can we can watch this through full and then we can watch it through slow as well and we're just we're kind of picking the the most viewed clips here aim at chair guy has the other side of the wall i'm an innocent bystander here and really that that's pretty much it like it's just going to slow it down and show it again if the chair wasn't there if the terrain wasn't there if the building wasn't there right take away all the background would that shot have hit the person on the other side if the terrain wasn't there i think that would have cleared up any shadow seeking accusation right because we've seen it a lot before where players just go into rooms and they just randomly spray at um spray at a corner that can be explained by that but if you randomly spray it at a corner and if you take away the terrain and everything if that bullet hit the person i think that is more of a solid or concrete thing that we can look at and say hey this is something that we need to take a look at because this this something here might be a little bit sketchy right so i think we can't in these two clips yeah there's a little bit suspect movement and a suspect shooting tracking all of that but there isn't a clear-cut thing to say hey she is cheating or she isn't cheating at this point for me anyways for you you can make that decision on your own but i don't think we have enough evidence even though it's been going on for a while now but recently this clip popped up this clip popped up of nadia and sensor having somewhat of a suspect interaction even when she resnaps that is yeah that almost looks like a glitch wait like... this girl this girl has to get canceled for this what the fuck Uh, dude, no pro shooting like that, dude. Look, bro, I literally play the game 12 hours, seven days a week. I've never fucking had that happen. But why before. does it snap though like that? Dude? Like, what's the cause of that? Uh, there must have been another player that like dragged her aim if she's cheating. So right there, he's saying that probably there is another player that was there that dragged her aim across, which exposes her of cheating. Because why would her aim just snap to something else like that, right? It, it was she was shooting at one person and it just snapped to like the top left for real quick and then snaps real fast back down to the player that she was shooting and that is basically how this whole sensor nadia thing started anything you say to me i don't give a fuck i'm just gonna make the video on you no matter what you could tell me you cheat you could tell me you don't you could literally tell me you cheat you could say i'm a hacker and i cheat i literally wouldn't even use that in the fucking video against her because that doesn't fucking prove anything for all i would think she's just trolling to be a marketing genius I don't, I don't read into this bullshit. I read into the facts. Video when it comes out. So, uh, um, <laughs> take off your shirt, follow the flank. Look, all I said in this fucking video is this, listen. My goal is to make the absolute most credible video on the subject of Nadia cheating on the internet. My goal is to make the most credible video on the subject of Nadia cheating on the internet. So why is she DMing me saying, why are you being weird? That's not what happened. Yeah, the expose party is makes you as relevant as you pray to be. What the fuck? Relevant as we pray to be. You want to know how long I've been doing this shit for, Nadia? So yeah, he just continues on to saying that she's been doing this. He has been doing this for long. He doesn't need this for relevancy or cloud or whatever. Um, really, not nothing important. Uh, so this leads us up to this tweet. I have a list of. Multiple people who have downloaded cheats over the past year directly from cheating source. Should I start exposing? And for someone who says that they're not doing this for clout or exposure, they've been doing this for a long time, they don't need it. Why this tweet? Like, why drop something that is going to give you interactions because people want to know who are who is cheating, who are the cheaters? Why not just say, hey, I have a list of people who are cheating. Here's a list and drop the list. Why this whole, you know, anticipation if you're not doing it just for the club then we have this tweet if you hack i will find you which just proves that not really proved, but it just says to me someone is just really really just fishing for attention or interactions or something just just drop the list if you have the list of some people cheating if you don't have the list doesn't matter right create an alt account if you're afraid to drop it on your own account and then just drop it over there and then just I don't know, retweeted from somebody else. I don't, I don't get this whole mysteriousness of I have a list, 
maybe people will want to know, maybe they don't want to know. Let's see how much interactions I get before I drop it. It just screams I want attention or I want interactions before I do this thing that I don't have. And it led to this video, which in, in, in short, it is eight minutes of a waste of your time. Uh, it is eight minutes. It's supposed to be a video of him exposing Nadia, the truth about Nadia. And it does nothing but, I don't know what it does exactly. I have no idea what this video is supposed to be. Get into like almost two What's going minutes. What's on, guys? Justin Martin here. Hope you guys having a great day. And today, bring you guys a brand new video to give you all the truth about Nadia. So if you guys don't know who Nadia is, she's a 22 year old Warzone player. She streams every single day on Twitch TV. Uh, she specifically plays Rebirth Island, and she's been streaming for a little bit over a year, from what I understand, maybe a year and a half or so. And she just recently, over this past few months, has really escalated as one of the biggest, if not the biggest, female gaming Warzone streamer on the platform. I remember being back in Los Angeles with my boy T Dog uh, at the Call of Duty World Championship. We woke up one morning like 9:30 a.m. This is about one month ago. And he goes, "Hey, sister, Nadia, a lot of people think she's cheating." I'm like, oh, "Let me tune in and check her out, I guess, right?" So I go on my phone, go to Nadia, and I'm watching her game for like five minutes. I'm like, "Nah." I don't think she's cheating, it's not sus. But then the entire internet started losing their minds over Nadia cheating. And it's this rabbit hole that I've seen a lot in competitive Call of Duty. Being a part of the competitive Call of Duty community my entire life and actively competing and looking for a start. Like I said, it is eight minutes worth of nothing. Absolute nothing. And believe it or not, at the end of the video, he proposes. And more than likely a meme, let me be clear. This was absolute garbage. There's nothing really in this video for you to see other than some dude just talking about some cheating software that his friend's friend has um, that doesn't even run on the game that he's accusing the person of cheating in, right? The, the cheating software doesn't isn't in Warzone, so I don't know how it is even relevant to the situation. This nothing about this whole situation makes any sense. This is probably one of the biggest L someone can take in their Twitch streaming career, Call of Duty career. I don't know what the point of this video was, but from what I've seen, from what everybody is saying, it's just accusations to someone that is good at Warzone. If she is cheating in the future, then, you know, to share, I hold my hands. I really don't know that much about Warzone, if you guys didn't know. Like I said before, I'm pretty sure I said it, I don't play Warzone. There are too many hackers in that game. I've never seen a game come out for this long and is still being plagued by a hacker. Still has a company that does manual banning, which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard, I've ever heard of still. Uh, it's, it just doesn't make any sense to me. But uh, Let me know what you guys think on this whole situation. I know a lot of people are like, she is cheating or they are not changing their mind. Two clips, actually. It's just two clips that are actually um, suspect to me, which is the one where she shoots in her friend or her teammate and, and then the person just runs up behind them and then you know she downs them and then the other one is when she's shooting the wall the chair in the corner which like i said a lot of pro players do that when they just jump in a room and spray a corner because they think someone might be there there but that can be cleared up if they just remove the terrain call of duty come out and be like if you remove the terrain remove everything there Leave the person in Nadia in the room where she aimed. If the bullet hits the person, then you have some case of saying that she is cheating. If it doesn't hit the person, then you have no case. It's just a random spray. That's you know, that's just my two cents on it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. You know, share it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.